good girl them there. Here and nails and clothes, just set money in the pocket. Yeah, I've been away for a while. But I wanted to come back and do a video on me actually. The days leading up to me shipping out to basic training and stuff like that. And what I was going through then. So I decided to join the military straight out of high school. Like, I thought that would be the best decision. I'm not saying it was the worst, but I'm just saying probably I should have thought about it some more or look into it some more. So let's get straight into it. 2000 and or I want to say 14, right? My last year in high school, and I was like, oh. I got so much going on, and I'm like, Army's the best thing, you know, I can handle it, and stuff like that. So I graduated, I already signed my contract from before I graduated, so I graduated high school. I went to Jamaica for that summer, because I was like, I'm going to turn the hell up before I ship. So I came back, like, two, three weeks before it was my ship date, and everything. So the week before i was supposed to ship was the hardest week ever i really have to say it was really really hard because mom i had my brother wasn't even born yet so much stuff and that's the love of my life or whatever so i had to leave him i had to leave my mom i had to leave my best friend it was so hard the day of the day or two days before i was supposed to ship you have to check into the hotel and everything and go back do maps and do some more stuff in maps and then you ship off and that's just it the night before i sh the day before i ship i think i spent it with my best friend and i can only imagine like i must have been crying like crazy and if i look away i'm just looking because <laughs> it's weird looking at the camera but yeah I did that. The morning of, I woke up that morning and my recruiter was supposed to come and get me from my house. So I got the text, I'll be there in a couple of minutes and I'm saying goodbye to my mom, I'm saying goodbye to my brother, I'm saying goodbye pretty much to everybody. And it didn't really hit me that I'm legit leaving until I was in the car driving away and my mom is crying and... <laughs> I still remember that gut, like, I felt like my heart fell out when I had to leave home. Because it's like, the first time I'm actually leaving home and I'm doing this big personal thing. And it was so hard. Normally I go, I travel for vacations and I travel, you know, go. But I know I'm going to come back home. So I left the house. And the drive was like a 30 minutes drive and all the 30 minutes i was like crying because i'm like i'm leaving home i don't know what i'm going into i keep hearing these bad things about basic training i watch all these youtube videos and i see people getting screamed at and everything and i'm like i don't know if i could take it or anything like that so when we got to the hotel um I can say that night, I wasn't really in the mood for nothing. So I was just in the room sleeping and I got a roommate. She was some girl, like, she, I, I really didn't like her. Like, she came in late. She was on the phone the whole night. I was just trying to go to sleep because I'm just not ready for what's to come. The next morning we woke, I, I got up, got ready. They came and got us, like, after five. We went to the MEPS place. And we did all that mepsy stuff or whatever. Go sign papers, do more stuff, hurry up and wait foolishness. So I think it was that day I met Thomas. Man, we stuck, we was like this through basic training. Ever since then, like we missed our flight together. We were in the same platoon, everything. It was just crazy. It was like, we, I met her. The next day was like almost the day before we were supposed to leave when I met her and come to find out we were on the same flight, same everything. And we just kind of clicked. Like normally I don't click with people that much, but we just kind of clicked. And the next, the following day after that, 
was when we actually were supposed to go on the flight. It was a group of us was supposed to be flying together. And we got the first flight. Everything was good. I think when we got to it was Chicago. I'm not 100% sure where, but it was something. I think it was Chicago or whatever. When we got there, it was like so much rush coming off the flight that both of us missed the flight. Everybody else basically left us. <laughs> and they got on a flight and we had to call um, Fort Jackson to let them know well, we missed the flight and they put us up in a hotel for that night because it was like we basically got to spend an extra day of not dealing with the stupidness or whatever so that night we was in the room we talked we got to know each other and everything we got closer I got to know everything about her a lot of stuff about her family and her niece. Like, she's in love with her niece and her nephews, I have to say. And her son and everything. We had the epicest time. Like, you wouldn't even understand. And then we got on that flight. When we got on the correct, the, the flight the next day, um, it was just a dreading feeling. When we got to Fort Jackson and we was waiting for the drill sergeant to come and get us, we were just paranoid. We were waiting, we were just waiting. And then when the drill sergeant came to get us, it was just a feeling of, holy shit, what did I do? And she was always there to say, Williams, um, just relax, or Williams, it'll be okay. She was always like my backbone during that whole time. I promise you, basic training, I was a mess. I wasn't really a mess, but she was always there for me, like, do everything. We tried to get the bunk together. Like, if I needed help with anything, I would run to her. If she needed help with anything, I was there. Like, we were just, like, they know us as a peed and a peas in a pod. Like, they just aren't know us together and everything. Like, if something is wrong with her, they would come to me. If something wrong with me, they would go to her. It was just that feeling. We shipped to basic training, and we just went through it together, basically. We went through the in-processing section first, and we were bunkmates, <laughs> pretty much bunkmates. We did everything together, like, everything. Then we, we got every basic training. It wasn't really that bad. I hated a few of my drills aren't, but everybody hates them. And it was just good having that person there. And when basic training was, oh, that first night. That first night, I promise you, when you actually get to, my, when we actually get to, like, basic, basic training and not just in processing, that was the worst night ever. We pretty much got no sleep because when we got there, they did all the, bring your bag here, bring your bag there, high fright phase. We pushing like for no reason. Like we just pushing. I remember in the in the defect, one of the just sign came so close to my face. She had braces at the time. I think it was just sign Johnson. It was a female and I like she got so close to my face and she got braces and I can promise you she was talking and her spit was just coming in my face. And they were like, side step, side step. And I'm just like, holy fuck. Man, if I tell you how that went, so the, and then after that, we went to the room, they assigned the beds and everything. I got the worst bed, because I was like right at, at the door. As they come in, pretty much they're staring at me. My bunkmate was this nasty girl. I promise you, she was nasty as hell. And she would, like, just go up on the bunk and just throw her dirty socks down. And it was just aggravating because they stank. So every time she did that, I would throw her socks away. Like, I promise you, by the end of basic training, she had no socks. I remember at one point, she was so unorganized. I She was so unorganized. And then because she's your bunkmate, majority of the time, the drill sergeant said, you got to stick with them. That was not working because she was messy as hell. We had a rough one time. She couldn't find nothing. And then... There was a time where I forgot how she got all my stuff, like all my stuff in her bag. I'm just like, how, how is that even possible? But it was possible. I was happy when I left her stupid. <laughs> I was happy when I, when I, when I had to, when I got to leave her, like that was the best feeling ever. There was this one girl. 
I forgot her name, but she could sing her ass off. Like she could really, really sing. She sang at she sang the national anthem when we were graduating basic training. She was a thief. Point blank, period. We got these ugly ass eye pros, and I promise you, she stole my eye pro. And I'm like, my name is written on it. Just give it back. She's like, no, it's not. No, it's not. My name is fucking written on it. Give it back. So I ended up having to go to the jewel store. And at that point, I thought she was crazy as hell for what happened after that. But that's neither here nor there. But she could sing. Not taking that away from her. And then we had one boy, William. I, William, he was a mess. I remember one morning waking up, right? Waking up and... um. We come to formation, and he goes in front of the formation. He's like, I'm so sorry. I did something very, very bad. And we're like, what did you do? Like, everybody's, like, worried. Like, did he punch a drill for her? What did he do that's so crazy? And then he's, like, dramatic with the, I'm sorry, guys. I let you guys down, and I'm apologizing. He stole the MRE. Like, <laughs> I'm just in my mind, like. Okay, that was crazy. That was so crazy. But overall, the hardest the hardest thing about basic trainings is actually leaving when you get there the first actual day. It's like real hard. But majority of it is like mental. Like majority of it is just you just gotta do the right thing, be in the right place, say the right thing. Don't forget the senior drill sergeant. Don't forget drill sergeant. Don't forget. Don't forget drill sergeant. Don't say yes, ma'am. Yes. Don't say yeah. Just I don't know. I, I don't even know how else to explain it. But pretty much, it wasn't even that hard or anything like that. But I'll be making more videos about this little by little. I'm getting to, I'm getting used to all of this, and I'm trying to make it a scheduled thing. But as we can see, it's not really a scheduled thing. I'm trying to make videos less than ten minutes and stuff like that. But you know what we are talking about and. Thomas, big up yourself. Must still a wait for you come true. And yeah, all of that, mommy, hello. Because on graduation day, her family came down. We got to spend some time together. Her son was there. It was just fun. And mad, like, I, I can never say. I have so much respect for that lady. Like, she was my sister. During that time, she was my sister. She was my guardian. She was my mother. She was my aunt. She was my cuss me out when I needed to be cussed out. She was my hairstylist. She was my counselor. She was my pastor. She was just my venting buddy. She was just everything positive. Like, during that time, I promise you, like, lifeline. I love you, girl.